Okay, today we've got a Dodge Ram 1500 and the customer wants a clutch. The first step is to empty out the center console and remove it and get the shift boot out of the way. With the center console and cup holders lifted up, you'll have enough room to get underneath on this hex. With a 19 millimeter, you can remove the handle from the shifter. Now you can pull the floor covering back and get to the bolts to remove the lower shift boot. With those six bolts out, the lower shift boot comes out of the way. There's another boot on top of the transmission. Raise it up, then there's four torque screws to remove, and then you can get the whole shifter out of the way. Once the shifter's out of the transmission, you're ready to disconnect the battery and then go underneath. Put a mark on the drive shaft and the pinion flange so that when you reinstall it, you can put it back in the same location, and then remove the 15 millimeter bolts with a swivel socket. Before you remove the drive shaft from the tail shaft of the transmission, make sure you've got a drain pan underneath it to catch anything that may come out. Like that. Here's a safety tip the truck just reminded me of. When you're working on a vehicle on a lift, especially a pickup truck, remove the tow ball. It really hurts when you hit your head on it. Next, disconnect all of the electrical connectors from the sensors on the transmission, unhook the harness from the transmission, and unbolt the slave cylinder. If you leave the line connected, you won't have to bleed it afterwards. Unbolt the starter with the 16 millimeter. Put some penetrating oil on, the, on these rusty exhaust bolts. Once they've had time to soak for a few minutes, Loosen them with a 10 millimeter. Next, remove the front suspension cross member by pulling off the four 15 millimeter nuts and bolts. With the suspension cross member removed, now there's room to remove the brace between the engine and transmission. There's six 15 millimeter bolts holding it in. There's two 16 millimeter bolts on each side of the transmission that go in from the engine side, from the front of the vehicle towards the rear. On the passenger side, there's one additional 11 millimeter bolt holding the dust shield to the front of the transmission. Okay, there was one more 16 millimeter bolt, and then the dust shield could come out. With everything finished up front, it's time to focus our attention on the back. I'm going to have to get rid of my tripod and start using it for a transmission jack like it was designed for. Got to get it set up under the transmission. With the transmission properly secured, now we're ready to remove the transmission cross member. There's Four 18 millimeter bolts, two on each side holding it to the frame, and a pair of 15s holding the trans mount to the cross member. Now that the transmission cross member is out of the way and all of the weight is resting on the transmission jack, it's time to remove the last four or five bolts out of the transmission bell housing. Got a 14 millimeter swivel socket on a long extension. Once all of the bell housing bolts are out of the front of the transmission, slide the transmission jack and lower it. Now this is what the screen on my camera looks like whenever I try to record anything. 